hello. Oh, what do I have today? Oh my goodness, I have hearts coming out of my head. That must mean I'm so excited to see you today. And I'm so excited to play some violin today. Aw, oh, Miss Allison just is full of hearts today. I love playing violin and I love seeing all my violinists. So if you are ready and you've got your violin, maybe you can share some of these hearts with me today. Get your violin, make sure it's in rest position and it's opposite of Miss Allison, so you should be on the other side. If you were looking at me, you'd be on this side, but Miss Allison, this is my violin hand. This is your violin hand, right? Show me your violin hand. Bow hand. Are they different or the same? Hmm. If I were to turn around, this is your violin hand. Show me your violin hand. Show me your bow hand. Violin hand. Okay, if your violin hand is on the thumb spot and your violin's in rest position and your bow is hanging from your hook finger, your first finger, it's hanging like this, then we can take our bow. Let's sing the rest position song. Rest position, feet in line. Scroll that front, that's mighty fine. Check your bridge, cause it should be peeking out at you and me. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes now. Very nice. Today we are going to, oh, I forgot to say please help me teach you. Please help me teach you. And you say, please help me learn. Today we are going to practice our violin statues, all of our rhythms on the A and the E string. E, e is our highest string. It makes a sound like this. Mine is a little out of tune, so I'm going to turn the fine tuners down here, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and it should sound like that. The way that I tune, and you're going to have your parents do this, is only use the fine tuners for now. If it's really out of tune, we can have a Zoom call to go over this, or you can follow a video to go over that, because these are very difficult to tune, and you could easily break a string if you do it the wrong way. Okay, so we are going to only use these. Make sure your E string sounds like that. And your A string sounds like that. And if it doesn't, then you can make it a little tighter to go higher in pitch or a little looser to go lower in pitch. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, so your parents can do that. You're not going to do that because it takes a little bit of time to learn how to do that. When you get to be a big grown-up violinist, then you can do that. Okay, thumb on a thumb spot, and let's practice our violin statues, all of our rhythms on A and E, and a little bit of bow hold tricks. I'm going to have some special helpers help us out with some violin statues and some other things later. So let's see what Miss Allison has in store for us today. Thumb on a thumb spot, and go out, upside down, up on your head, slide it down onto your shoulder. You're going to hold on tight here, really tight, and it should be out at an angle. So if I'm looking at you, it should not be in front, right? It is covering your shoulder. Don't let Miss Allison's shoulder monster get your shoulder. Okay, hold on tight with your jaw, not your chin, with your jaw. And we're going to hold on for 10, 9, 8. See if your other hands can do this. Wave to me. Wave to yourself. Wave. Touch your head. Touch your chin. Touch your nose. And are you still holding on tight? Okay, if you're holding on tight, take your straight mirror wrist and you're going to slide down the elevator. Let's see, can we go? Now drop your hand. Are you still holding on tight? Put your hand back up. You make the sound effect now. Go up. Now let's go down. Did you make it? Okay, drop your hand and put your thumb on a thumb spot and go into rest position. If you were able to hold that violin statue for the entire time, you are a violin rock star. Give me a clap. 
oh yeah, I'm gonna have some other friends help us out with the violent statues. I wonder who's gonna help us out. Oh, it's Falcon! Look at that beautiful violin statue. I noticed it's covering her shoulder and it's way up high and she looks so relaxed. Wow. I wonder if you can hold your violin up like this. Oh, and it's Chloe. Is your violin way up high on your shoulder like that? Oh, then it's perfect. We're gonna do one more. Oh, look at that. We're back in our classroom. Ooh, I wonder. Oh my goodness. It's Leia playing her goldfish game. And look, there's Caleb and Julian. I wonder if we can play the goldfish game after we play our one more violin statue and we play one Mississippi Stop Stop on A&E. One Mississippi stop stop on ice cream sh cone. You think we can handle it? I bet hey. we can. Time to practice. Thumb back on the thumb spot. Go out, upside down, up on your head, slide it down your shoulder. We have one more violent statue to go. So once you get it nice and tight under your jaw and it's way up on your shoulder, you can let go. Put your hand over your chest. And Miss Allison is going to sing, Go tell Aunt Rhody, John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rhody, John is sick in bed. Oh, I wonder what he ate. Hmm. I think he ate some plants. And he ate a pillow. He ate a big plant and a little pillow. He ate his rosin from his bow. Go tell Aunt Rhody, John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rhody, John is sick in bed. It's hard to sing and play do violin statue at the same time. So it's okay if you just listen. Were you able to hold up your violin the whole time? If so, you can take a bow. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes now. Okay, we have two more things to do and then we can play our goldfish game. Thumb back on the thumb spot and go out, upside down, up on your head, slide it down on your shoulder, get it nice and sturdy in there, and slide your hand down the elevator. Let's see your umbrella fingers over the strings, or candy cane. Now straight, and candy cane. Straight, and candy cane. You see how my fingers make a candy cane over the strings? And straight, and candy cane. And we're going to keep our fingers nice and candy caned over. See how my fingers are nice and curly like this? They make a nice straight candy cane right here. And they go over the strings. And I've got a nice straight wrist that goes all the way down. Okay, who can flip their bolt hold over and show me that they have a nice bolt hold? Are you able to keep do your bolt hold while your violin is up on your shoulder? If not, you can put your violin down and fix your bow hold. Let's see, is your pinky on top nice and curly? Are your fingers over the edge? Is your pinky inside the pinky house? Is your thumb nice and bent underneath? See how it's got a little bump right here? Okay, if all these things are good, then you can get your violin way back up on your shoulder again. Up, upside down, up on your head, slide it down, bow hold check. And we're gonna do Mississippi stop stop on the E string, and we're gonna roll over to the A string, and roll back to the E string, then roll back to the A string. We're gonna do it two times, okay? So open E, Mississippi down, up, open E, ready, play. Now roll over to the A string, make sure it's glued to the A string, ready, play. Did it sound like A? Did it sound like Miss Allison? Roll back over to the E. We're going to do it one more time. E, ready, go. Roll over to the A string. Ready, play. Bow hold check. Is your straight wrist still there? Is your violin still up on your shoulder? 
thumb on a thumb spot and go into rest position. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes now. Okay, now we're going to do it one more time. But this time you want to listen very carefully. Are you playing only on the A string? And are you playing only on the E string? Make sure that it sounds just like the A string and just like the A string. You, e string, you have to make sure your bow is glued to the string. Say glued to the string. Glued to the string. And you have to make sure that your eyes are watching your bow the whole time. If you're not watching where you're driving, guess what happens? You drive off the road. What would happen if I was driving the car and I was looking back and I was talking in the back seat? Hey, Caleb, what are you doing? Uh, what are you gonna do after school today? And I didn't look at the road at all. What would happen? I bet I would crash. I wouldn't go and stay on the road. So you have to make sure you're looking at your bow and you're driving that bow and you're making sure it's always in the right spot. If it's not in the right spot, then it's going to fall off the road. Watch what happens when Miss Allison doesn't watch. Ooh, that sounds messy and icky, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Make sure your bow is exactly on the A string and exactly on the E string and it's glued really tight. Out. Behold truck. Upside down. Up on your head. Slide it down. Hold on tight. Make sure your bow is good before you slide down. Bow on the E string first. I'm going to go first and you're going to go second. Listen first. Here I go. Roll over to A. Here I go. See how Miss Allison was watching where she was driving the whole time? Now it's your turn. Open E. Ready, play. Mississippi down, up. Roll over to A, tilt your bow, glue your ear, your ears and your eyes to the string. Ready, play. A, 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 A. And remember, the E string is right here. It's the highest string and it's also the thinnest string. And A is right next to it. E, E, A, A. Okay, we're gonna do one more rhythm. Make sure your bow is glued. Upside down, up on your head, slide it down. Violin statue for five, four, three, two, one. Slide your hand down the elevator. Bow hold check. And you put your bow on the E string. With your thumb on top and your thumb bent on the metal. Pinky in the pinky house. Fingers over the edge. Very good. We're gonna do ice cream. Palm ready, open, E, ready, play. Shh. Roll over to A, ready, play. Ice cream, shh, calm. Now it's your turn, ready? Open, E, ready, play. Ice cream, shh, cone. Roll over to A, make sure it's glued. Ready, play. Ice cream, shh. Um, did it sound exactly like the A string? Did it sound exactly like the E string? If you glued your bow to the string the whole time, get your hand ready. Oh, let's do a bow hair high five. Wave your bow in front of the camera. Bow high five. Boop! I mean, I'm waving my bow in front of the camera. You're waving yours in front of the screen, right? <laughs> okay, so the next thing's next. We get to... Play go fish. It's time to play go fish. What do we gotta do to get our go our all our fish in order? Make sure your thumb is bent and your pinkies on top and your fingers are over the edge, right? We have a round circle, nice pinky rainbow, and bow hold check. We're gonna try and catch some of these fish with the tip of our bow. Can you catch the, can you catch that one? Oh, try to catch it, try to catch it. Ooh. I've got one. How many did you get? Hmm, let's see, can you get another one? And I've got two. And I've got 
three. Bow hold check. Is your pinky still on top? Is your thumb still bent? Do you still have a round circle? We're gonna do one more. Are you ready? Get your tips ready. Aim it at the screen and let's see. Ooh, I caught one. Oh, you have to reel it in. Oh, oh man. Let's catch one more. Ready? And reel it in. One, two. Ew. Heavy one. Bull check. Wow. That is a beautiful bull hold you got there. If you have time, you should make fishies for yourself so that you can go fish at home. You can make them out of construction paper or any kind of paper. Draw fishes and put them in a pond and then show Miss Allison a picture of it in homeroom. I'd love to see it. For your arm. Now it's time to take up out. High toes, high toes, high toes. Now 